Edwin Sifuna. And uh, Chairman, this, this is disrespect to the committee because for us, we are here first. It is not that it is the governor who is carrying the coffin to the grave. It is not him doing that. And even burial will take place in the afternoon. And it is not that it is the governor who is going to welcome people at the funeral. So the governor should not cry more than the bereaved at the funeral. People died in Embakasi East and 13 people died. Yes. The governor did not even send 10 shillings for their burial. Right now the governor is giving an excuse that is going for this funeral. The last time when these people were raised down by fire, the governor passed Embakasi's constituency and went to South Africa to dance there to celebrate his birthday. So you can see, Chairman, that the governor of Nairobi is treating this committee with a lot of contempt. So you must stamp authority, Chairman, because even us, we are going to that funeral. Thank you. When I see you, you are saying that uh, the license by NEMA precedes all other licenses by all other agencies. Absolutely. So that, but for your license, nobody else can issue any license. Precisely. Yeah. If somebody doesn't show up to EPRA with an EMA license, they'll just chase him away, isn't it? Kabisa. Okay. So when you get into the specific answers, bear that in mind. <coughs> that you are telling the committee that if you had done your job, these people would not have even gotten anywhere uh, near the offices of EPRA or the county government of Nairobi or any other agency that is required to issue any licenses. That's what you're saying. I'll explain that, Honorable Senator. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and chair, chair, just before he does he proceeds, I'd also like you to uh, define the environmental suitability of, of a project, bearing in mind the people, the, the residential nature of the the location where this project uh, to explain why the LPG refilling facility was located close to human settlements. Honorable Chair, our response is the land use zonation is one among several key aspects that are evaluated during the processing of an EIA application. The, the EIA application by Maxix Nairobi Kenya referenced that for the proposed LPG storage and filling plant was located was to be located on plot number that of North Airport Road. Special condition number five of the provided land title registration document, which we have annexed as Annex 1, in support for the application indicate that the land and the buildings shall only be used for inoffensive industrial purposes with auxiliary offices and stores. We annexed that title, Annex 1, on the chair. Just, uh, if I may know your name, what's your name? Mamo. Mamo. My name is Mamo. Mamo, Mamo. Mamo. Yes. Thank you. Now, Mamo, you seem to be talking with a lot of temerity or rude courage and, no, and, and seem to be knowing what you are talking about, which might be a lie to some extent, because number one, I want to tell you two cases of necessity. There was a case of the Spelunshian explorers, where these explorers were trapped after there was a, a landslide. Then they learned through a radio call that they would starve to death in case they don't get food. So these explorers decided to kill one person to eat so that they avoid the death of others. When taken to court, the judgment came in their favor stating that it was necessary to kill one person for them to eat because either way they would have died. That was one case. The next case was the case of Mills versus the Queen, which was again stating the doctrine of necessity, where there were gentlemen who were traveling by sea. Then again, they, they were starving to death. So they decided that in order of their age, they would be killing one person at a time until they reach their destination, because either way they would die. Coming back home, you are saying that this is an area that was meant for industrial activities. Having noted that 
there was an alleged encroachment, as you are saying, as perceived, of which if there's an encroachment, then how did Kenya Power supply power to these people who are encroaching this area? How did Nairobi City Council approve the supply of water and other amenities within the area? Because for these people to have encroached, for, the, for these people to apply for these uh, amenities, they must use a title deed. And if you go to that area, you will find not only houses made of mabatis, but they are also permanent residential houses. So therefore, in your wisdom or lack of the same, how did you come to the conclusion that this place was a residential was a, was an industrial area and not a residential area while people are staying there and there's never been any court case raised against the said the alleged encroachers or <laughs> how are they called that's, the that's <laughs> <laughs> so uh Bonadigi, you must really explain to this committee without laying blame games on these people who we are saying that encroached the said parcel of land. And going by uh, 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 an advocate, the SG, the law of tort, negligence, you owe these people a duty of care. Having known that this is a, a, an industrial area and people are still staying there, what did you do? Why did you proceed to issue a license for that matter? So what did you do? Thank you. Before you... Uh, Honorable Chair, just to conceptualize this uh, issue, if you go to this site, Honorable Members, we do not have an LPG PowerPoint at this site. What NEMA licensed was a futuristic project, was a proposed project to be set up by this proponent. And I visited the site several times. And I ask you to just visit this site. This site is just a yard. And this fellow just used it as a garage. What blew up was the tanker, the LPG tanker, the bullet. When we received this report from the project proponent and I said our license is pre-authorization and it's a legal requirement point of order chairman when a DG you are saying what blew up was a tanker. a tanker do you know what led to blowing up of that tank and several tankers for that matter yes were you there that day when it blew up I wasn't but I got the information I think, uh, Chair, Owen, what happened Owen, 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 let's, let's give him to respond yeah, just, so that we just, do a follow up uh, let me try and help we uh, do a follow up question uh, let, let me try and help uh, yeah. Honorable Babu the reason why we have to object at that particular point in time uh, Mr. Chairman uh, you have attached you have annexed your own license Wana yes. DG uh, let me put on record that personally as a senator of Nairobi I have visited that site I am aware that Honde Bobabu Owino has visited the site, he knows it very well, because I was there with him and he has been there several times. Your own document, uh, Bonadiji, says you license a proposed storage, LPG storage and filling plant. And filling plant. This is your own document. Unfortunately, you did not uh, mark it. I don't know which annex chapter it is. But that is your document. And then it says whose objective is to carry on installation of a 10 metric ton liquefied petroleum gas storage and filling plant associated facilities and amenities it is public fact that the accident happened during a refilling process yes we have been there ourselves we have seen storage tanks for lpg the very same thing that you licensed so mr dg when you're giving evidence so that we don't keep objecting kindly stick to the truth of what was licensed and the causes of the accident are known. They are now public. We have had the EPRA here. Uh, uh, maybe the clerk should also furnish them with the report from EPRA because an investigation into the causes of the accident have already happened and they are presented before this committee. So please, let's not argue about the causes of the accident or what you licensed because your own document here speaks to what you licensed. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Can I respond to